Okay, as record, I'll be doing the recording. Then I will share screen. All right, now for assessment one. So now the reason why I'm going through this assessment one is because the assessment one due dates will be on the 14th of December. Why we essentially is like after our course, our course has ended. So I'm going to use this time to go through assessment one one more time to allow you guys to understand what is required. At the same time, uh, by this afternoon, what we have done, we have completed, we would have completed, let me see. Uh, by this afternoon, we would have completed three sets of case study, right? Three sets of role play. So it's about time so that you guys can start to practice for your assessment one. Uh, so what do we need for assessment one? Essentially, for your first assignment, it is a 1,500 words individual reflective essay. Okay, and then um, this assessment takes up a total of 60% um, right, the gradings that one I already mentioned to you guys. And so 20% goes to your participation, right, which so far I'm quite happy with all everybody's participation the same. And then 40% will be your grading itself. So what you need to do in terms of these assessments is, you engage in six class negotiation, right? So I'm using this as a midpoint. Requires because we have done by then by this afternoon we will have completed this three. So yeah, this this three um, role play. And so the objective is for you to access your understanding of the concept theories right, and the framework that you have learned in this particular module. And so this assessment asks you to reflect on and discuss your experience of negotiation during the class. Okay? So now, what I want you to do for this so-called class practice is, after today's class, after today's case study itself, I want you guys to start writing, right, at least for one, one of the case. Don't have to be too many words, right? Let's say um, at this point in time, right? I want you to write maybe a 500 word essay first, right? And then reflect, meaning that hey, look through this free exercise that we have been through, and then ask yourself, what have you learned in this exercise? Now, and in terms of what have you learned in this exercise, we not only just want you to mention about what you've been learning and so on and so forth, we want you to map into all the theories that we have been going through. Right? Things like, hey, you know, uh, for this particular discussion, uh, we decided to go distributive negotiation style because we felt all these things. And you may even say that, oh, when we are planning for these things, we actually map out using the dual concern warning. Right? And then during the negotiation, it was exactly this twin dilemma that came along. All right? So have, have that. And some of these models, if you can, you know, start drawing out in a pictorial form, that would be good. So what I'm going to do is, on Friday, I mean, we're going to go through this, right? On Friday, I'm going to spend some time while you guys go to the breakout room. I want you guys to show me one by one what have you written. My whole objective is to start to fine-tune you, to tell you, okay, now, um, this area you've done well, this area I need you to improve and so on and so forth. So in this manner, I'm preparing you guys for your final assessment one. Okay? Theoretically, if you are going to do a job, so by this Friday, you are more or less would have completed your one one of your case study, right? I mean, you, you choose one of them. Then, subsequently, you know, all you need to do is to work on the other case study, whichever you choose. Or at the end of the day, you are supposed to submit an assign assignment of 1,200 words. Okay? Any questions about this?